It's now midnight in Wellington, and here I am about to get in my rental car. A uh, bit of excitement on the way into Wellington. We had to abandon the landing because there was a uh, vehicle on the runway when we're on our final approach. So that made for a bit of exciting flying just to finish off the night, but now just gonna pick up the rental car and head to the hotel. I'll check in tomorrow morning. Only six hours later and it's, uh, here I am in, I was gonna say sunny Wellington, but windy Wellington. On my way to a breakfast meeting with one of the senior guys at Triple S, just to kick off this two day session with Luke and the team. Looking forward to it. Morning walk through lovely Wellington. You can see in the background a few of their pretty significant buildings, including Parliament House. So they really are in the capital of the country, which is great. Never been here before, so it's always good to visit a new spot. Yesterday was back to back, literally meetings from breakfast at 7 a.m. through to dinner at 8 and nothing stopping in between. But I figure if you're going to travel to a business, let alone in another country, you might as well pack it in. So I had an opportunity to meet a lot of people in the Triple S business, and that was really good because it means that over the next months and years to come, I've got really a face-to-face -face kind of connection with those people, and so I can understand a little bit better the color behind what's happening in the business, and hopefully therefore be more helpful to Luke as we're going through this process. And Triple S uh, is an interesting one for me because cyber security and, and information technology and you know something that I can understand, but it's not necessarily right in my sweet spot as a core business. And so it's good for me to learn about that stuff's new business model and then try and understand the technology as best as I can. But also it helps me to focus in on what are the things that I can bring to the table and what are the areas of that business that I can help to add value to because there are a lot of common factors. You know, you still have a team of 30 or 40 people. You still have leadership structures that you need to establish. You still have business operations, customer relationships, supply chain issues. All of those fundamentals are still the same, regardless of the fact that in one of my businesses, you might be dealing with cybersecurity risk and in another one, you might be recycling cardboard. It's amazing how similar some of those issues could be. Got another full day of meetings ahead today, again, starting with breakfast and finish with dinner. It'll be good to get across those last few bits of the business, meet a few of the leaders and spend some time kind of going through the fundamentals of the business with them. One of the main takeouts that I think that I had from yesterday, which I think is an important thing for people to remember, particularly when they are in a team that is new and also in a team that has just been acquired is that they need to be patient with themselves and with each other. I think there's a lot of really good will and good energy and good kind of proactive uh, effort going into that business and that team at the moment. I think everyone's excited about the future, but even though it feels good at the moment, I encourage them to keep an open mind and stay patient because it's highly likely that they'll hit times um, during the next few months or next few years where they won't agree on everything and there will be turbulence and there will be stuff they need to address and challenge together. But that doesn't mean they're failing as a team, that actually means they're growing as a team. Whilst you need to be persistent in that change, you also need to be patient with it because nothing ever happens in a straight line. So before I know it, it's 6.30 p.m. on the end of day two, and I haven't even had a chance to record anything during the day. It was very productive, but it was back to back. Started with a 7 a.m. breakfast meeting and then team dinner tonight. So I'm just on my way there and have had a really great time. It's been one of those mixes of everything from strategic discussions and team introductions and mock presentations of kind of customer um, feedback and there's no substitute for being face-to-face -face with the business 
and really kind of soaking in it for a while to get a, a, that next layer of detailed understanding of exactly what's happening on the ground. And also had a chance to kind of sit in with Luke on some of the detailed projects that we're working on. A few implementations for back office systems and things that we're going to accelerate just to help him get the dashboard and the information that he needs more frequently to get his head around the business. But it's been a really successful visit. Going to go have some dinner with the leadership team to celebrate and then 6.30 a.m. flight in the morning. Last trip of the day, <laughs> last trip of the year, being one of those blow nights. I'm going to try and capture as much of this one as I can. Up for a board meeting today at SRO up in Brisbane, and then stay the night, do the dinner with the executive team, and then Christmas party tomorrow. But I might sneak away a bit early because it's been a long couple of weeks. Get back to the family. Here we go. Just in a Uber heading back into town for dinner uh, with the exec team. And then tomorrow back into the office. And we're catching up with most of the team, gonna see the new site and then heading out to lunch for Christmas, which would be great. Had the board meeting today, had a few personnel issues to deal with, but that was okay. You always get those in terms of upside and downside. And also we're running a quite a big team now, so we're approaching 100 people. It really is a people business. And I was speaking to someone about that in the office today about the fact that it's really critical that we lean into the fact that it's a people business. So we can't skimp on the amount of time and energy that we put into managing those things. So yeah, we did that, went through the board meeting and I think we're kind of rounding out the year quite strongly on, on budget and with a few big initiatives. And then I think that'll give us a good kickstart into 2024. I like it when you do it. Party time in Brisbane on the river. Wrapped up what I guess you could call an early dinner with the leadership team at SRO after a full day board meeting. And it's always good to catch up bit more relaxed environment, have a bit of a chat about how things are going and just kind of tap into the team and how they're feeling. Had a great conversation about, strangely, brain chemistry. So we we're talking about the impacts of dopamine and oxytocin and serotonin and endorphins, how that impacts the way that your body responds to certain events and even started to think about how we can kind of incorporate some of that thinking into the way in which we interact with our teams and motivate our people. So I love it when things get a bit esoteric, but I actually think there's some real actionable things we can change there about the way in which we lead people and manage teams within the organisation. So heading back to the hotel now, walk down the riverside, which is a beautiful place to be. One of the lucky things about visiting all these different businesses is seeing different locations, get a good night's sleep and then wake up for Christmas party with the team tomorrow. All right, back in the office now, and it's Christmas time. So there'll be some Christmas decorations, I reckon. The team usually does a pretty good job at that. Oh, yep, here they are. Check it out. Merry Christmas. Anyone in here? Catching up with Nick shortly in here to report a podcast is the board meeting room. There's our production team office. And that goes through to the warehouse. And then I'll head upstairs and see if I can see anyone up here. Might be the first in. Equally, it might be here too. It's 
So one of the adventures we're going on is we're going to check out the new Brisbane office. So I'll um, here with the whole team, see what it looks like. Very exciting way to start the new year, moving into here in the next month. It's a completely different dynamic to where we've been in the past. Really great head office space. Just waiting here now, grab an Uber, back to the airport. Um, the team are gonna kick on. They've just uh, finished a little bit of karaoke. Don't worry, I didn't pick that. Didn't want to um, incriminate anyone with their singing talents. So yeah, they're just having a few drinks and then they'll head into the city for dinner. I'm gonna jump on a plane, head back to Sydney. And um, that wraps it up for the year. I mean, next week I've got a handful of board meetings, but they're all just online. So I won't bore you with that. It's been a good start to this process and uh, I'll see if I can keep it up in 2024 and hopefully get a bit better at it too.